good morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is lisa if you're new around here just getting ready it is currently half term it's actually the first day of half term so i'm gonna vlog at points in this week so i thought i would start the vlog today um and yeah yesterday i had a nice pamper evening and i tinted my eyebrows so i thought i would quickly mention it because someone did ask um if i'd used that product again so not too long ago on instagram i showed you that i tried this so this is the isla dye brow kit i used it again yesterday the second time using it i left it on for a little bit longer and why is this not focusing today there we are and i feel like they've done a good job it doesn't it didn't really last very long the last time when i used it but i feel like this is great and i'm not really gonna have to use much on my eyebrows today i think what i'm just gonna do is just use some like clear brow gel so yeah that's what i used i left it on for like 15 minutes wiped it off and it's just given me a bit of definition filled in any gaps because i do have a little gap under here usually and i feel like it's evened it out a little bit so i'm really happy with that but yeah half term week this week it's also orlando's birthday on saturday i can't believe he's gonna be four i know i keep saying it but i no longer have like a baby or a toddler anymore do i it's, he's like he's a proper little boy now so as you know we are part of the sky cinema club and whilst i'm getting ready the boys are currently downstairs watching rock dog 3 because that's one of the new movies that has been out on sky cinema this month there's also the independent as well which is a movie that you can watch without the children but rock dog 3 is what the kids are currently watching so i'll let them review that for you after sky have got some great movies this month and obviously it's valentine's month so there's lots of valentine's and like romantic movies out also to celebrate the arrival of top gun maverick I have of course got loads of Tom Cruise movies, you've got Top Gun, Vanilla Sky, Jerry Maguire. Let me know what your favourite Tom Cruise movie is as well, I'd love to know that. But yeah, lots of Tom Cruise movies, lots of Valentine's movies to enjoy. There's also an Oscars dedicated channel, so you've got movies like Chicago, Forrest Gump, Oliver. There is just so much to watch on Sky Cinema at the moment, so make sure you check that out. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish getting ready and then we'll go see how the boys are getting on with Rock Dog 3. Right, Rock Dog 3 is finished now. How was it? Really, I felt like it was a really good film. Did you enjoy it? Yes. It's about like a, a dog, like coaching other dogs to do, to beat the other, the co other competitors. <laughs> so at the end, we ended up singing, like everyone ended up singing the same song. <laughs> smooch. The sheep and the wolf had a smooch. <laughs> sheep and the wolf had a smooch and <laughs> <laughs> Do you rate the film? Do you think it's a good film? Yes. Yeah. You recommend it to everyone to watch? Yes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I recommend it. Make sure you watch your stuff free. Power yeah, yeah, We've decided to walk up this hill. If I could fly. We're still I'd going. Like to... Come to Croyd. I would like to have a paraglider fly. Yeah? Fly there. Fly down there like Link. Yeah. <laughs> That'd I be good. I would like to, but I don't have. This is so steep. It's hard to see just how steep it is. Look at that view. <laughs> Are you comfy there? We made it, didn't we, Landy? We're going for it. We're going right up to the top. A bit more rocky here, isn't it, Orlando? This is good. We're getting so high. Hello, it's a few days later now and look, I've got curly hair. This is so strange because I haven't really worn my hair curly at all since going brunette. Um, but I thought I would try it today. I did do it curly like when I just went darker and I didn't really like the look of it. I think I was still getting used to obviously being darker and stuff. But now that I've had a few cuts and I'm used to the colour obviously, 
I thought I would try it again today and I'm really happy with it. I've literally only used two products. Well, one actually, one styling product. So I used the K18 mask in my hair as like the conditioner leave-in treatment and that already made it look really nice. And then I just used the, the JVN Complete Air Dry Cream. So I just used a little bit of that and then I diffused it a little bit with my GHG hair dryer and diffuser um, to about 90% dry and then I've just let it do its own thing. So really pleased with that because in the summer when my hair was blonde and curly, I needed to use the, the little chopstick curler that I've got just to add a little bit more curl because I found that the ends, because they were so dry, they never really curled because they were literally dead. But as you can see, this is all looking like thick and healthy. So I'm really pleased with that and I like that I've got a few different tones through it because obviously you can still see the lighter colour coming through. So I'm really happy with that. But yeah, it's been a couple of days since we filmed. So we went to Croyd the other day with the boys, which was really, really nice. And then yesterday it was Valentine's Day. We went out for lunch with the three boys, which was really, really cute. And that was really nice. Um, and then today I was going to go out with the kids again, but the weather is turning actually. It's going to rain. So I'm just going to do a few little housey bits catch up on housework and stuff i've already had the washing on this morning you know all of that fun stuff but so i thought i would just vlog a bit i've got some bits to tidy up i'm just tidying up actually in the bathroom but i thought i would go through the uh, some bathroom storage ideas with you because i love talking about storage ideas and these are things that whether you're thinking about renovating your bathroom at the minute or you're planning it or if you've got a bathroom that you want to sort out some storage for i thought i would give you a few little ideas on ways that you can add storage into your bathroom so i've got quite a few different solutions i think i've got about eight different ways to add storage to your bathroom something like that so i thought i would show you them today so let's go do that let's get on with the rest of the day but i just wanted to pop on and show you my hair because i was i was feeling it this morning <laughs> Right, so I thought I'd bring you into the bathroom today and show you a few different storage solutions because of course I've given you a bathroom tour but I don't think I've really shown you the actual like storage solutions that we've got in here. I feel like we've got quite a few good storage solutions so if you've either got a small family bathroom or if you're planning a renovation this could be a few ideas that you might want to think about when you're planning it or if you just need some more storage then here are a few different ideas. So first of all you can already see that we've got this basket here for toilet rolls so originally i was going to have like a toilet roll holder on this wall here and i have actually still got it but i haven't put it onto the wall because one i was too scared to put it onto the tiled wall i did not want this tile to crack in any way and also i don't know i just felt like it looks better down here so this way we've got way more storage for toilet rolls because I don't really know where else I would have put them if I had them just the one on the wall like with the kids you know what it's like they would just constantly constantly be like an empty loo roll on there so I thought no we're not going to do that so I went for this basket here which is a really good size basket I bought this one from Zara and it is just fantastic it's so so nice I'll bring it up here so you can have a proper look so this is the basket and I feel like it holds probably like I would say about eight to ten toilet rolls which i think is fabulous it's very handy and ideal for the children as well so very easy good storage it's really good if you haven't got anywhere else to put like spare toilet rolls as well so you can just put them all in there and you're done so that is our toilet roll holder solution and then if i bring you up here you can see of course we've got our vanity but our vanity is a little bit deceiving because this drawer here is not actually a storage drawer so we've only got the two drawers down here which are quite shallow mark has the bottom drawer down there and then i've got this middle drawer so i'm going to open it for you so you can have a little look just to see what we're working with here popped these plastic containers in here like storage baskets shall we say these are actually from ikea and i think they're from the trofast range they're for those um you know like for toy storage and things they've got them in the child section but look how perfect they fit in here they literally fit perfectly and i thought i would use this because i don't want to damage the wood at all you know what it's like sometimes products can spill especially if they're lying down so i thought this was a really easy clean solution for these drawers so we've got two of them in here I'll talk you through what's in here as well. Nothing special at all, just got some extra bits. So some bubble bath that I want to get through. I've also got another hand soap in here. I've got these really handy like wristbands for when you're washing your face. Um, so the water doesn't run down your arms. It's so, so handy. Also, if you're washing your hair over the bar and you don't want to get water all over your watch, you just pop that over the top and it's really, really handy. So I got that. I've got my spare Estrid razor in there. And then I got a couple of bits that I bought from Lush over Christmas time. So 
I got this Snow Fairy Body Conditioner, which I didn't actually realise this is what you're meant to use in the shower. So it's kind of an extra step in the shower, but you know if you fancy an extra pamper in the shower then I got this because it smells really, really nice. I also bought these. I don't know why I bought these. These are toothpaste tablets. I thought they'd be good for travelling. They do taste a little bit strange. Let me know if you've tried them before. Um, but I just thought, yeah, you know, if I ever run out of toothpaste and I haven't got any to take with me when we're going away, then I can just take these little tablets. Um, but yeah, not my favourite purchase. I've also got a couple of my favourite LMS balms in here. So I've got the Pro Collagen uh, Rose Cleansing Balm. And then I've also got the original one in there. I just love this. It's so good. My absolute essentials and staples for a full-on pamper. I've also got my Tangle Teaser in here. And then I've just got a spare toothpaste as well. And then over this side, this is more of my like end of the day kind of products so we've got my scalp brush i just put that in there anyway that's just for my hair i've also got a few different garnier face masks if i ever want to pop a face mask on as well i've got some interdental brushes i've also got my elemis body butter this is like the uh, skin nourishing scent very very nice very clean kind of fragrance this one i like putting that one on after a bath because i just feel extra clean and fresh i've also got a couple of fragrances in here um not much left in this one this is why i've put it in here because i've got the tiniest bit in here so this is the victor and Ralph flower bomb and then i've also got this one from marks and spencers it's called soft iris it smells a little bit like janelle mademoiselle so i like popping that one on after a bath or shower as well and then i've got lots of different moisturizers in here i've got a facial oil and then I've just got some other little bits and bobs in there as well. So that is basically all I've got. And then I've got my silk scrunchie if I need to pop my hair up whilst I'm having a shower and stuff. So that is everything that I've got in my section. I won't show you Mark's bits because they're his things. But that's what I've got in there. And as you can see, these containers are fabulous. So if you've got drawers like this and you want to protect them, then definitely get something like this from Ikea or B&M, anywhere like that. I just thought these are really sleek and very easy to clean. So those are what I've got in my drawers um, and these are a really great solution to keep your drawers nice and clean and protected as well. So if we come onto the vanity and countertops, I wanted to give you another idea and it is to buy a nice tray. So trays are perfect for, of course, gathering products so I've got my little hand products here and then they are also great for trinkets and little bits of your jewellery rings and things so if you're taking your rings off and you're washing your hands or at the end of the day if you want to just take your necklace off and you don't just want to place it on the side you can pop it in a tray like this and not only does it look really nice but it keeps it safe it's not going to slip off and go down the drain which is what we don't want happening so yeah it's a little bit risky having it in here on the side but it's much safer in the tray and and this tray is really beautiful as well this one is from next home and i love this kind of stone effect that it's got i think it looks really really pretty so that's another simple storage solution to display products on or your perfumes or your jewelry in your bathroom without it looking too messy so that is storage idea number i think we're on to number three another idea we've got is this so another little trinkets tray but as you can see i've popped some soap on here so again you could use this for your jewelry soap like i've got out here at the moment i just use this more for display purposes but again these little dishes are absolutely perfect you can find these in loads of charity shops this one particular is from zara i just loved the kind of scallop uh, design on it that's another one to think about now if we come back a little bit more let's go and think about a larger scale more so if you're planning a bathroom renovation as you can see we've got like the floating toilets and because of that we were able to bring the wall out a little bit which then we were able to create this ledge or kind of shelf area which again is perfect for storage so if you want to pop some baskets on top there or if you want to put any other extra products and things like that then you've got that so that is more of a design feature to think about when you're designing your bathroom if you want ledges for either decorative things so we've got like the flowers and things like that or my mirror or if you want it for extra storage just to place products and things on then that is another really good idea because if you've got to bring the wall out anyway then you might as well use it for something useful and I also put my bath board up on the top there as well it fits perfectly when I don't need it so that is another place that I can kind of store my bath board without it getting in the way if I show you a little bit closer I've just got my candle up here the tranquility candle and then 
another storage solution we're going to talk about another basket because I'm obsessed with baskets and this one is a really recent find actually from a charity shop and when I saw it I was like oh my gosh I need to buy it this was only three pounds from the charity shop and look how cute that is so again you can use this for anything that you want in your bathroom I'm currently using it for my razors and my extra kind of razor blades that I've got in here from Estra. So I just keep them all in there nice and safe I know where they are, the boys don't ever go in there um, and they're just tucked away nicely on this little ledge and it not only looks beautiful but it's a great storage solution as well. So you can even put like your nail products in here, your nail files and things like that. So nice different shaped baskets are always a great idea whether you're getting them to fit into a nook like this fits perfectly or if you want something to put beside the toilet or even down the side of a vanity then I'm sure there are loads of different sized baskets for exactly that so it just takes a little bit of imagination think of an area that you've got in your room that you need some storage for and see if you can find something similar I just stumbled across this when I was in a charity shop and I knew it would be perfect for the bathroom and as you can see it fits really well so even if you see these things and you think oh I don't really need that storage basket just buy it anyway because there's always going to be a place for it we always need storage don't we whether it's for children's toys or our own items or cleaning products and things like that there's always somewhere to put a nice storage basket and this one here is my favorite at the moment okay so if we come over here now this is another storage solution for you so again we've got another ledge here windowsill which of course you can use to display products i've just put marks aftershaves on there but actually I'm going to take them off because really you shouldn't have them out in the light but I wanted to show you this here so this is like a hurricane glass and it's more of a display glass so you could use this for candles and things like that but what I've actually put in mine are some bath bombs so let me get it so I can show you it a bit closer up okay so this is the one that I've got this is actually from the Mrs Hinch range from Tesco's and I use this at Christmas time I put some fairy lights in there and it looks beautiful you could even do that in here actually but what I use it for is is for my bath bombs which are from Lush and this is just the perfect way to display your bath bombs make them look really pretty makes the room smell gorgeous because it's like open as well if you wanted to you could get a lid to put on top as well you can get those really gorgeous glass jars with the lids if you wanted to do that that's another way to display your bath bombs you can get a nice glass jar with the lid this one I just had already and I thought what could I use this for now and when I bought my bath bombs I thought wow that is perfect and we've got the nice wood detail which kind of ties in with other details around the room so I really really like this idea and it's a perfect way to store my bath bombs without them getting damaged and they're easy to get out right next to the bath when I'm running a bath another really simple one is the bath board you could leave this one out and then just put little items like you've got the body brush here just a little hand towel and just little items like that if you haven't got much storage anywhere else then you could pop a bath board on your bath and display them on there that way they're always there to, to hand I always like to put a candle on here as well and just things like that this is another little practical one that you can use for of course when you're having a bath and also when you're not having a bath you can store nice pieces like this on it that are useful but maybe not used every day but you can just have them there rather than in a drawer taking up space so that is another way to store your items but also display them at the same time now let's move on to another design feature so if you're designing your shower then I would highly recommend putting a niche in the shower if you can so I really wanted one that went all the way along the shower you can have the ones that are just more of like a square some people have them like above one another but I really wanted this extra big space that I could store products on as you can see I've got a few of my products here and a few of Mark's products these are just like our everyday you know shower gels and things like that I keep my hair product away I don't keep them in the shower because I don't wash my hair every day but I just keep my kind of essentials in there so I've got like a cleanser shower gels and my razor and then Mark's got his little bits out as well but these are just so so important in a shower I have had you know the hanging corner ones that you can kind of stick onto the walls which are good if you haven't got any other solutions like a niche like this so you can get the corner one that stick into the shower so I got I think I bought ours from Ikea and those did us really well for a few years but if you are planning a shower 
renovation or makeover then do go for a niche this is so good we've got some lighting in there as well which is really beautiful if you're having a shower in the evening i like to just put these lights on here which creates a really gorgeous dim light and then i put this one in here so if i want one of those really relaxing showers then that's all i'll do i won't bother putting the big light on and it's just so relaxing i love it and as you can see it's a great storage space we've got so much space for lots of products but it's a fantastic storage option for within a shower if you're thinking about planning your shower definitely have a niche somewhere where you can fit it i really love our one and i love the kind of um marble feature that we've got in there as well you could have so much fun with this with tiles and different colors if you wanted to be a little bit more bold you can have a real cool color within the niche um, a lot of people go for marble of course but i really love this statement tile that we went for in here I think it looks really, really nice. And again, I love the light feature as well. It's a really cozy feature and practical too because I can see everything. Yeah, it's such a lovely feature and one of my favorites in here for sure. Another storage idea are for, of course, your towels. So of course, get yourself a towel rail or a towel kind of shelf or anything like that. This is just a nice brass one. This is basically just to store our towels on here. Just taking the bath towels downstairs to wash, but we pop our bath towels on here and it's great. You could also put these on the wall like, this way up so they are vertical and then just hang the towel off this hook here so they kind of just hang down if that's what you wanted you could have two I've seen that and that looks really good but I went for horizontal just so we can kind of pop them over there like that so that's another way to store your towels again you could pop some shelves here if you wanted to if you wanted to roll your towels up and pop them on there like that but this has worked really well for us so far and of course we've got the towel rail as well which not only dries the towels but is another place that we store them as well and then my final storage solution in our bathroom is this and I love it this kind of like wooden tower we've got so many products in here these are the products that you know they're a little bit too tall to go into the drawers I didn't really want to have them lying down in the drawers and I wanted to have them out so obviously we use them every day so I've got some shower creams up there I've got some more shower oil some hair products I've got like the kids bits we've got some more bits for Mark in there as well and just extra bits really these are where the extras go and of course like our kids everyday essentials as well so that has been so so handy I bought this one from Zara and actually the other day when I was on Facebook marketplace I saw one super super similar for I think like 20 pounds so it's really worth going on Facebook marketplace to see if you can find anything like this because loads of people are you know selling pieces like this as well online so it's definitely worth checking out on Facebook before you go and buy anything a little bit more expensive this one was around 100 pounds but for me it's been so worth it I love the way it looks in here it just slots in perfectly before you order items like this make sure you measure the space out the space where you want to put the item because a lot of the time I will look online and think oh yeah that's uh, that's perfect and then I'll go to order it and then it gets here and it's it's way too big or it's way too small so I made sure to measure this because I thought I don't want to buy something that's not going to fit because I have nowhere else to put it so for us this has worked so well as you can see it just tucks in behind the bath really really nicely it doesn't take up too much space and as you can see it stores so many products in here so if you need some more freestanding storage then something like this is neat and small but as you can see with all the different tiers it does hold a lot of products as well so that is my favorite storage item in this bathroom apart from the vanity of course but this is really practical and it works really well for us so yeah that is basically all of the storage in our bathroom i just thought i would film that for you just so you've got a few ideas for yourself if you're thinking of different ways to store items in the bathroom so yeah there's a few little storage ideas for you there are so many more ikea always have the best storage solutions so if you're struggling for storage and definitely check out ikea but i do love going into home sense as well zara always has some really really beautiful stylish items and even h&m home as well so definitely check out those stores but those are a few of the items that i'm loving in here at the moment and also don't forget the charity shops they have so many good bits like i said that basket was an absolute steal for three pounds i love it so much and it works really well for us in this bathroom so yeah those are all of the storage bits that we've got in here i think what i'm going to do now is i've got to do some editing I'm going to go change the beds as well this morning. What time is it now? It's still morning. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go change the beds, 
because I need to go change like the kids beds I'm gonna go do that now get that all in the wash and then we'll have lunch and then we'll probably go out to the park so I'm gonna leave the video here I really hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and don't forget to check out Sky Cinema and Rock Dog 3 I'll leave a link in the description box for you so you can go check all of that out and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys Across the room